I've heard Rufus talk about this project for some time now as he's been writing it and this is one of the first times where the, the music has actually really come alive and I've heard things that I've never heard before in this music. One of the things that he said to me was he said, you know, this is never really, it's been performed, but he's never really heard it. And that resonated with me because I remember that feeling of hearing your music for the first time. So I was just, just tell me when and where and yeah, I'm, I'm with that. Yeah, it's pretty amazing. You know, you have something in your subconscious of how you want something to sound. And then for me to uh, actually have individuals, really creative individuals come in and render it and take it completely to another place that I couldn't even have imagined. Um, it's, it's thrilling. I mean, there were times when I actually had goosebumps, you know, just because I said, damn, I wrote this. There are some moments in the music that, that are very, very tender. There are moments in the music that's very explosive. And um, there are music, moments in the music where it's just, just swinging and just trying to hold a groove. But emotionally, I was just trying to keep up with the music. To bring it all together was kind of like a combination of styles. Uh, European classical music meets jazz, so to say. Um, so it was uh, very unique and uh, overwhelming, but a good overwhelming experience. When I got to the rehearsal and began to hear his music just unfolding in front of me, it was an amazing process. Just the writing, the, the, the depth and the subtlety of the music was, um, was uh, something that I, and I think most people don't get to experience anymore. It's timeless. It's actually, it's music I feel like I've heard before, but I've never heard or never experienced before because it's connected to so many things that I grew up hearing, yet it's all Rufus. the experiences that really overtook me um, playing this music was the fact that Rufus was able to incorporate all of the different instrumentation that he did uh, essentially to capture the essence of sculptures. His expression of an inspiration by the art of Elizabeth Catlett is uh, quite amazing. I'm extremely thrilled to be able to bring the Quiet Pride, the Elizabeth Catlett Project, to universities and colleges across the United States and the world. I've been studying and trying to quote unquote get out of my own box, uh, out of my own comfort zone, and I chose some uh, of her images out of this book. To do this music inspired by her work and then get a chance to actually meet this woman, it was really thrilling. And then she says, well, I, you know, I've never had anybody really do anything like this uh, inspired by my work. That, that was kind of heavy right there for me. Everybody's pigeonholed. I mean, they're, they're kind of, you know, they're blinders on. They do their thing and they're unaware of other things. Creative musicians or uh, creative 
artists, uh, whether they paint or sculpt, people who write, people who are poets, each one of these disciplines can have a dialogue and, and, and see a, a worth of being able to interact because generally speaking, they're unaware of each other. It's a win-win situation for every one of these uh, departments because it already has done this to me. It has enriched my life about uh, what I do and why I do it. My thing is that the, it, the, this is there. Mm -hmm. That's the, the phrase. Uh -huh. I mean, um, uh, and I couldn't be happy, so. What we've done in, in, in four days is, uh, is, is quite uh, ambitious uh, and I have to be incredibly grateful to your professionalism uh, to put this down, seriously. Yeah. It's, it's really kind of dream to do. Yeah. Yeah, we're yeah. Not all great artists are loved. Rufus is a great artist and he's loved. Yeah, he's, he's an amazing person because it's, you can play with anybody and support and, and be creative, but then the composer side of Rufus is uh, coming from some other, uh, some other planet. And it's very exciting for me as a player and as a composer to uh, hear his music, to sit in the orchestra and play his music and go to school on what he's doing. It's pretty incredible. He's been an, an idol of mine for a long time. And to just be in, in a group with uh, just, just it's such a diverse group of people that all get along so well. Like it was like a, you know, a giant family and just, you know, just seamless, uh, just integration of all, all the players. And, and uh, how he handpicked all of his artists for this, for this project is amazing too. He wrote for the personalities involved with the band, I think, which is very important. It's like the old Ellington style knew who he was writing for and Taylor made his music for it. He really wanted me for being me rather than he just needs another trumpet player to fill a chair. And I feel like that, that's how the whole project sounds. It's like people he really cares about and has a, a relationship with through all his different meanderings through the world of music and the art that we're involved in. Rufus Reed is, uh, is like a musical uncle that I always wanted. He's very inspiring, he is encouraging, uh, he's supportive, and he challenges you to be a better musician. I think we're hearing the fruits of his life in music because you hear all the different influences of all the different groups he's played with, um, all the different kinds of music he's played in his life, and so it's coming out in his writing, and I think it's something that's very special. And it'll only grow more and become better as we, as we really integrate and internalize what it is he wrote for us to be part of. They brought their A game, uh, each and every one of them, and they didn't have a clue until the rehearsal. So in four days, we were able to come together with something that, uh, to me, it was extraordinary, I think. I basically stumbled on it because I was reaching out. And that's, that's what I'm hoping to be able to take and introduce the people that they, they can have these experiences. This is a special time and it's also 
it's going to empower me because this is my first time of actually hearing something rendered in, in such a professional high level that it will empower me to, to keep reaching and now I know some of the things that uh, I was wondering about, it can happen.